What's going on my PT peeps and walking the family. Welcome to the PT channel. I'm one eye Bry, also known as PT and I'm back to talk about the walking dead season 10. Spoiler warning for the walking dead season 10. We have some photos from behind the scenes, the little clip from AMC's the walking dead's Facebook page that we're going to break it down, analyze it, discuss it, and also connect it to the trailer that came out in July. Some scenes here could connect the dots a little bit, but spoiler warning. But first and foremost, guys, if you can, do me a favor. Please hit that subscribe button. If you like what we do here and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe today. Also, if you can, please tell your friends, tell your family to also hit that subscribe button to help us achieve our goal of 100,000 subscribers. We cannot do it without you guys. And that goal means a lot to us. But let's get to it. The picture right here shows Daryl, an Oceanside member, possibly Cindy, Carol, Diane and Michonne in the woods. There's a fire around them. Did they set the fire? I'm not sure exactly, but probably potentially to bring the walkers to them and weed out some whispers. And we could see this in the first episode of The Walking Dead season 10. Also, you see Carol here in a purple shirt with arrows and her bow. And it looks different because you'll see her in a blue outfit when she's talking with Alpha. So it's different, a purple outfit and a blue outfit here. So two different days, or at least two different parts, a purple shirt and a blue shirt. So I'm excited to see what happens with Carol and Daryl and Alpha, of course, in season 10 of The Walking Dead. Also, you see Diane in the trailer. She's firing arrows off and they're probably taking out walkers. It's probably the same part here when you see Daryl, Carol, Diane, Michonne and the Oceanside member in the woods. And I'm excited to see what's going on here because I believe they did start the fire on purpose to draw the walkers to them. And do you think that there would be this many walkers around still? Because how long would it take for them to decay fully and break down? It's been a long time, been a long time since these walkers came about. And the short 10 second clip on Facebook shows Daryl, Cindy, and Greg Nicotero across from Daryl. And I believe this is episode one and Greg Nicotero directed episode one. I believe that's the word right now that he did episode one for sure. So that could be that. It also looks to be him practicing swinging the ax and how to swing it towards the walker. You see the fire behind them. So it looks to be the same scene. So it's interesting. Also, you see the silver canisters behind Daryl. And I wonder if they use those canisters to put the fire out or start the fire or something there. And here's a better shot of Daryl, Greg Nicotero, and some of the cast and crew and everybody there involved with setting up the scene. And I'm guessing it's for the premiere episode that'll be back October 6th. I can't wait. And here's a good shot of someone with the board that's like, all right, take two. And you see maybe a fireman person putting out the fire or setting a fire up or doing something right there. And then you see walkers walking towards the camera. So I'm guessing they're coming towards our group. And if you watch it, you can go to AMC's where it's the Walking Dead's Facebook page. And you can see the 10 second clip and you see the walkers walking. And then someone says like, fall down. And then you see them, they fall down. And it's probably the same people here. It's probably the same scene, the same sequence of the woods of the group being surrounded or being attacked by the walkers and potentially some whispers because I'm sure they're in there as well. But you see it there, you see them walking and then boop, they all fall down. So is it Michonne swinging her katana? Is it something taking them out? Is it something, you know, a digital effect that'll go in later? Most likely a digital effect could be arrows, could be bolts, could be a katana, could be all three. Can't wait to find out. And I love seeing this behind the scenes. Then we see Daryl and Michonne looking on, smiling, having a good time. And I know Norman is kind of upset that Denai is leaving. And he's like, I begged her so many times to stay. I begged her all the time to stay. And I would too, because I love Michonne on the show. She's my favorite character. And I really hope there's a lot of Michonne in season 10. Because if it's her last season, for those who don't know, Denai Guerrera is done playing Michonne on The Walking Dead show. Potentially the Rick Grimes movie she could go to. Her exit, they keep saying her exit. So we see if she leaves and how she exits. But what's up with the fire? I can't wait to find out. It's not the biggest deal, but... We're going to see some fire. We're going to see some walkers, some whispers. And I wonder when the whisper war is going to start. First half, second half. I'd be okay with it being the back half as long as it's just eight episodes of the season. And then we see Cindy. That's a great shot of Cindy and Greg Nicotero. So I'm guessing that is her between Carol and Daryl in the promo photos. 
It could be her, it could be someone else, but Cindy looks to be involved, and I'm glad to see her back on the show because I missed her last season, and it looks to be like Oceanside will have a bigger part this season, and then we see a walker. That's not a whisper, that's a walker. That's a person, doesn't have the mouth in. It's like, either way, it doesn't matter. It's a person dressed up as a walker, and then they smile, and then it says, returns October 6th. Hurry up, October 6th. And some other parts of the trailer got me thinking, is Alden going to be there? Is Dante going to be involved? Is this part of the fire too? So is it a big group effort to weed out the whispers, smoke them out, bring them out? Alden, Dante, it should be cool. It should be a great season and we're getting new characters. So that means we're probably going to lose some characters too. But I doubt we're going to lose one of the new characters like Dante. And I think Alden sticks around, but you never know. You never know who we're going to lose. And it's been confirmed that this is Dante for season 10. And for those who don't know, he is connected with Maggie in the comics. And if it's going to be connected with Maggie on the show, Maggie's got to come back around. So we don't know anything about that yet. And what's going to happen with Sadiq? Is Sadiq involved here too? But it's not really smart to have your only doctor fighting here, surrounded by walkers in the woods and fire. Is Earl going to be involved as well? Could be. It looks like the same area, wooded area. It could be something else involved altogether, but I just put the wooded shots from the trailer together. Also, the fire shots. Some of them look to be at night. Like this, it's hard to tell. It looks to be at night. And Carol looks to be kind of shocked, like, oh, oh dear, what's that fire? You know, Carol has burned up some people, so she should be used to fire by now, but we'll have to see what's going on. Also here looks to be a very prominent night shot. Is this Alexandria? Is this hilltop? Is it the woods? Not sure, but it looks to be at night, potentially when the whispers are coming to attack one of the communities. Is it hilltop? Is it Alexandria? Do they attack both communities? Potentially, I think they could and they should do something because in the comics, they definitely attack both communities with the huge Walker horde, and I can't wait to find out. So what's gonna happen, guys? What are your thoughts? What do you think? I got some predictions and thoughts that I put in another video. I already talked about them a little bit in the previous video with my theory about the black outfits and what it could be and some predictions of who we may lose. So either way, behind the scenes footage is great. We're getting more and more and more information. Every Thursday they have a reveal. Hopefully this week's is better. Last week we learned baby Coco is Coco Espinosa. That's Rosita's baby. So let me know your thoughts, post your comments below, and for those interested in a zombie apocalypse book series, check out my series, Fight For Us, available on Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. And remember, with hard work, dedication, belief, and sacrifice, you can truly achieve your goals. Believe in yourself, you can do it. It's about love, support, staying positive, making memories, staying true to yourself, and as always, tell them, Daryl. Yo, we love you guys. Honestly, thank you.